Hello, I'm Allison Vaughn, founder and CEO of Jackets for Jobs. Um, Jackets for Jobs is a nonprofit organization that provides employment training, etiquette skills, as well as clothing to low income individuals seeking employment. Uh, we've been around for 12 years. Uh, we have two locations one on the east side of Detroit, and then one also downtown Detroit. Um, Jackets for Jobs is a labor of love for me. I really love and um, enjoy assisting people, helping them get on their feet, get back into the workforce. And not only um, are we helping people, but we have a wonderful partnership with TJ Maxx. And so we're here at our downtown location, which is our partnership with TJ Maxx. Um, we've had a partnership with them for um, since 2007. They did a million dollar investment in our organization because they believed in our mission of helping empower uh, men and women get back into the workforce. And so every year since 2007, they come, they have their staff, their associates, they come and they volunteer and they change all of our merchandise from fall to winter, spring and summer. I am here with several TJ Maxx associates. We're uh, bringing, we brought merchandise down and we're just basically replenishing the floor, straightening, cleaning up. Um, getting it ready for Allison's clients. It's exciting to, to be a part of Allison's mission to uh, help her, her clients uh, interview and get jobs. That's what's exciting about it, and that's what we're all about at TJ Maxx. We've helped almost a little over 12,000 individuals, so basically we're um, working with 1,000 people a year. Um, men and women. We don't take walk-ins off the street, so people that come to Jackets for Jobs, they have to be referred to us through um, Detroit Workforce Development Department Agency, basically which is the JET program, Jobs Education Training. So anybody that's unemployed and they come to us, we go through the training program, we provide clothing for them, and it's just a wonderful thing to be able to help so many people in Detroit.